Earth Day weekend and we are about to experience nature. nature. So we're gonna see what it's all about. But this is where we're at. The Nature Discovery Center. They're having their annual spring clean in honor of Earth Day. So let's check it out, come on. And then it's in there. It, oh, because it's just owned. You take it because they take care of it. So normally I'm not really like a outdoors type of person, but you know I've had a. It's been really stressful at work, you know, and it's been like work, 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 and really no time to take a break. Uh, and coming out here, I mean, look how beautiful. Look at that. I mean, it's just so, so peaceful. Um, it's very refreshing, you know, to come out here and, and see nature and uh, just just reflect, you know, just reflect of all the, the things that God has created, you know, like it puts a lot of it into perspective and um, really reminds you to, to slow down. You know how they say, slow down to, and smell the roses? It's true. You know, I think we, we take that for granted and just like busy ourselves with our everyday um, I guess routines so it's nice to you know take a step back cool. oh, look at that. Ooh, good job Touch it, Joseph. This is a gold. Joseph, touch the snake. It's two fingers. Yeah, it's a snake. And what I meant, two fingers. Yeah, two fingers. Yeah, very similar. Two fingers. Isaiah, you want to touch it? Devin, touch it. Two fingers. That's how you look. Look, Joseph touched it. And I just want to touch it. Come on. Two fingers. Your body will react to it. Do it. Some snakes, the venom takes your blood vessels and it makes you pop and it makes you bleed. Touch it, Joseph. If you have water, you could get a, a cotton mouth. Cotton mouths are big, thick bodied snakes that are dark. Look, all of y'all touch it at the same time so I can take a picture. Joseph, touch it. One, two, three. Look at me. Go ahead, go ahead. Look, all of y'all touch it and look at her. Look at look at the camera. Look at me. So if you're in a state park or a large um, what is it? What does this like the spice feel like? Or something like that? Or they go to large nature. It's real. It's real. No. I know it's real. I know it's real, but so often when you bite somebody, no one dies from their bite. I touched it and then they bite and then it breathes it out and then. Keep its food in there. No, it just eats it right away. It eats it right away. It eats it off of the ground. It eats. He's so cute. It eats fruits and vegetables. It eats <laughs> crickets and worms and bugs. It tried to catch a beetle when I put it down right there, <laughs> but it didn't get it. It's a corn snake. So cute. So cute. <laughs> it is so cute. I, I corn, corn snakes are uh, mostly found in fields. You're right, because they eat the mice and the rats that come to eat the corn. So farmers love them. 
It's like a beneficial snake. So it's like a pet. Well, no, because it, if you're out in nature in a cornfield and you came across one, if you picked it up, it, could, it would probably like bite you. I don't think so. That's cute. I got it. Do you want to touch the What's his name? Potato. Potato? Potato? Yes, but I. Um, I'm sorry. What does it feel like? I'm not supposed to. Oh, yeah, you gotta have. You gotta su have it's always supported from underneath. Never t oh, okay. hold it from the top. And usually yeah. two hands for kids because they'll oh. let it fall. Accidentally. <laughs> it just happens. Okay. Look this way, Isaiah. Isaiah, look this way. It hurts. 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 Oh. Go for it. Oh, sister, they're gonna do my nature walk in a little bit. So, so spray them. Okay. <laughs> Anybody wants to go on a nature walk? Thank you. Well, I don't know. Maybe on the way out. We have green beans. We have all of this stuff, girl. Right? Oh, back in the days. Yeah. Yeah. Figure that out. Hi, what kind of bird is that? This is a crested caracara. Sometimes they're also called Mexican eagles. Is that a Yeah, uh-huh. He's eight years old. He came into the wildlife center. He's a baby. Oh, there's an owl in there. What? It's a real owl. Anyway, yeah, so the, Just feather, the feathers never grew in on the top part of his right wing. So he, he'll just never be releasable. So we have permits um, from the government to be able to use these guys for education since they're not okay. releasable. Okay, for the people who are participating, good idea. Very good. Let's go this way. They may do that. So I'll find the next thousand. So I just want to tell you all that a long time ago, before uh, a lot of people moved to the, before people came from Europe to move to the New World, before Christopher Columbus came here, all of this area was all prairie. It didn't have trees except along the bayous. We're going to ask you not to pick any flowers in this park because. If you pick the flowers, they won't make seeds to make new plants. Or in some cases, it'll actually kill the plant. This is a really very rare plant. It's in the aloe family, okay? It's called Manfreda. And this one's called Prairie Parsley. It's just about to open up. So a lot of these, and you can notice that some of these are taller than you are, right? And in the fall, the grasses all get taller than I am. So that's the way it used to be. It used to be hard to get through in this area because the grasses were so tall and thick when it was all prairie. All right, we're gonna go this way. So there is a beehive. We're gonna take turns so if you light up this way. That would up be great. there. I want the kids hover one eye, like see how I'm doing, how I'm hovering. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all those bees, and you can look with your eyes. There are thousands of bees. Yeah. Move out of the way so somebody else can see it. So you can go to the end of the line if you wanna see it again, or all those bees up there are all girls, okay? Girls do all the work. Honeybee, girls honeybees do all the work. They do. They make all the food. They take care of the queen. They take care of the babies. They, yeah. You can go this way or that way when you're done. But if you want a second look, actually, I'm going to ask you not to hold on to it because it's going to move. It just go ahead and yeah, just yeah, keep what it. Mean? I have it low What's because. A
Careful, Joseph. and they, they just don't know how to take care of themselves in the wild. So we've had them here for a long time. So next, by next year, though, we're going to have one of the little owls like they have in here. Last fish right there by the flower pot, it's in the water. So there's these little black, well, what color fish do you see? Orange. 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 And what, kind of, what kind of fish are the orange fish? Koi? Yeah, well, they're not really koi, they're goldfish. Oh, well. Okay? Yeah. So, and then, um, but they're related to koi. So, um, so then the little black fish that are in here are called mosquito fish or gambusia. The mosquito fish are native, the goldfish are not. Okay, goldfish are native to Asia. Um, if a bird, we have some herons that, that night herons that come here and sometimes that eat, see them feeding, they always catch the goldfish because those are the ones they see first, right? Isaiah, Devin, do y'all want to learn how to make paper? What? You want to learn how to make paper? Yeah. Come on, let's go check it out. Soak up the extra water. So you have too much, water. When you have too much water here, you can squeeze it out. Here's a thirsty girl. Here's paper that's already um, completed. Pretty cool. Look at Amarissa! Woo! Future Olympics! Woo! You made it! Woohoo! We hope you enjoyed the video uh, in honor of Earth Day. Uh, we wanted to do something naturistic, and uh, Christy found out about this place. Watching the news. And um, it's really interesting because it's literally in the middle of the city, right? Yeah, it's inside the loop, and so usually when you think of like this nature stuff, you know, it was woods or whatever, it's always like outside the loop. Yeah. And for those that are not from Houston, um, we have this 610 loop. And then we have this bigger loop called Bellway 8. So this is inside the 610 loop. So yeah. we're, we're talking about inner Houston. And it's actually like in the middle of the uh, Bel Air neighborhood. So even just to get here, we had to pass, I mean, these huge, huge. beautiful houses. And we were like, wow. wow. <laughs> so it's literally in the middle of a neighborhood. Yeah. Um, what's it called? A Houston Na Nature Center. Houston Nature Center. Um, they do nature trails. They do... Uh, you know, educational exhibit. You can have birthday parties here and picnics and just walk. Uh, and it was so refreshing it to, was. you know, just take nature in. Um, we get so caught up in our, you know, busy everyday life. And wow, I mean, beautiful is beautiful. beautiful. Just so nice. Uh, and the kids enjoyed it. So and it was we nice. We got to see an owl. Like that mm -hmm. was, I thought, like was the coolest part. A little, like a real owl. That it's not like, look, um, what did she say? It's a wild owl. So it right. just kind of landed here. It, so that was really neat. Yeah, it was really nice. So <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, if you have the opportunity, you know, go out. Go outside. Enjoy the, 
the weather the weather today is just amazing just enjoy the sunlight and the trees and you know take it all in and I know that's hard because I'm a city girl I like to be indoors uh, but every now and then it's it's nice it's nice to just gonna be outside and breathe fresh out yeah fresh, fresh air. air so um smell we'll the roses smell the roses uh so we'll see you next tuesday bye <laughs>